Hi everyone, welcome back to the channel for another First Amendment expose. Today I chose a video from Denver Metro Addis because he's a clown who keeps harassing everyone even if he's fighting for court case. Alright, let's do this. Today we'll watch what a frauditor such as Christopher Cordova does in his everyday life. For example, what happens when he walks his dog? Well, he harasses everyone, of course. Even if this mushroom farm is still fighting four cases. And by the way, look at all the empty bags of chips that finance the crime of this Scientologist on cocaine. This is crazy. At least not many people give him anything on his GoFundMe. Anyway, in this video, we are supposed to see a cop being terrified of him or his dog and also a walk of shame. So let's see if any of this happened. Come and listen to the idiot. Hey, everybody, the idiot's on. Hey, guys, never much audits, aka the Mahai Auditor. I'm actually over here at the park. Here, this is at the elementary school. I come here all the time, but this is the public park. That's the private park over there. This is just a public park here. Just here with Minnie. Don't have loaf, sweet tea has loaf, but just came here. I saw a Sheridan police officer over here, so it's a nice day. Today's uh, June 29th. It's kind of cloudy and just like probably perfect temperature. So I don't know, he's got his lights on, so we're just gonna go check it out, see what he's doing over there. Oh sh here we go again. Oh, it's Officer Hal. What's up, Mr. Gurgola? Hey, what's up, Hal? How are you, man? Not a bad. Enjoying this nice weather. Isn't it awesome? Yeah. What are you guys doing? None of your business, Christopher. None of this is about you. But if you must know, is working probably. Working. Oh yeah. See? Told you. But you had two dogs. Oh yeah, my well Minnie was in heat, so I had to separate them. I got you. I'm picking him up later. Cool. Yeah. Oh, I guess they got a traffic stop here. Well, it doesn't look like he gives a shit about your little dog. Nobody does, Christopher. And yes, it's a traffic stop. You have a keen eye for police activity. Okay, so we got Garcia here. That's Garcia. I think I went to high school with this guy. And now we got a third unit that just came up. Hey, sir. Hey. You're free to film as much as you want. I know. As you know. But yeah. would you mind just doing me a favor and sitting over here filming everything? No, I don't that think... way you're not behind my other officer. No, that's okay. okay. I'm not physically interfering. I know the inter interference law. I have to okay, use physical so force, threaten to use... That's fine. Okay. Right here, then. That's fine. Is that why you came here? Because it's me? Yes, sir. Make sure okay. my other officers are safe. Uh, safe for me? Have I ever tried to hurt you guys? No, sir, but I don't know you. Okay. I've never met but, you. I've never interacted But you know who I am. Who do you think you are, you snot-faced little punk? Let me make this clear for you, okay? You are nothing! I'm not going to hurt I don't you guys. Know who you are. Hey, so, like, how about rather than inter interaction, let's finish and stop. Yep. And then we can we can chat. Yeah, that'd be a good idea, man. When we're uh, undivided attention, man, it's a little unsafe. Okay, life. you guys don't have to engage with me. I'll, I won't try to bother you. You know what? You're full of shit. <laughs> you are. That's all you do bother people. Uh, that's it. And if you don't want to bother anyone, why you just don't keep walking? What's the point of staying there if it's not to steer some shit up and hopefully get a good video on YouTube? So of course they had to send uh, another unit because of the peaceful cameraman, guys. Yeah, peaceful cameraman with a huge criminal history, you moron. And, uh, yeah, I haven't met this guy yet. Let's see if I can zoom in on his name. Looks like, uh, Stay back, sir. You don't need is, to come any Is that law? Are you, is that you, are you law? allowed to zoom in and do whatever you need, but you don't need to get okay, any man. questions to me. Why you got to be like that, man? Why I'm can't you just be cool? Name, my safety okay, what's your right? name and badge number then? You can start acting like that. What's your name and badge number, man? Start acting like what? Someone who doesn't want to play your little games for YouTube content? It's a protocol to have someone watching your back while you do your job, especially when a creep with a long criminal history, such as you, for example, stands right there for no apparent reason. What's that? What's your name? 2404, what's your name? Wolf. Huh? Wolf. What was it? Wolf. Name. You can go back and listen to your I can't, I didn't hear it. What's your name? Okay. I just told you to go back and listen to your Look at this guy, man. We got another tough guy over here. Doesn't know how to be professional, man. So wants to come over here barking unlawful orders. Oh boy, here we go again. You know, I, I can at least say that Fowl's always been a pretty decent guy, man. He's cordial, he's nice, doesn't give unlawful directives. So we got this guy right here who's new. Wants to come over here and just tell me to back up. I, in order to interfere, I have to use physical violence, threaten to use physical violence or an obstacle. I'm not interfering. 
I'm just standing here observing. That proves my point. <laughs> You're a crazy person. It's a okay. Yes. Arizari versus Yahaya. It's the case law. I can record police officers in the course of their duties. I just can't interfere. Oh, hey, uh, me too. I know some court case like United States versus Christopher J. Cordova. It's in appeal right now. But what if you lose, Chrissy? Probation plus three grand plus no filming plus obligation of having a real job. Ooh, and of course, few days in jail. But don't worry. I'll send you a pack of cigarettes to help you with the aftertaste of your countless salad tossing. <laughs> I was to say, get back. I'm here to protect my officers for their safety. Okay, and what's wrong with that? He wants to be rude. He's got to look. He's got we the people there. 1776. That's funny. That's hilarious. You know the five freedoms guaranteed by that First Amendment on that document there? Well, do you know the five freedoms of the First Amendment? I wonder if he even knows the Bill of Rights. He swore an oath to it. He's got we the people on his arm. Yeah, he wants to come over here and be rude. Try to bully me away from a place I have a right to be. All he did was ask you to back up a little, and you refuse, so you can stop bitching and whining. And you want to be rude and unprofessional, give me an unlawful directive. Then I, I didn't hear his name, and of course he has to tell. Oh, just, re just rewind it. Yeah, rewind it, bitch. That's what I'm talking about, man. This is the reason why I come over here and record you guys when I see you. If you guys would just be cool all the time, I have no reason to come over here. <sighs> I walk my dogs over here all the time, so I see reds and blues and of course i come over here because i'm gonna get some guy like this um do you mean a guy that won't play your silly games for youtube content or do you mean a man who will stand up for himself facing a little criminal bully like you uh, what is he supposed to do oh please mr cordova can you move a, a little bit please if it's not inconvenient for you and and unless you don't want to then and don't move a and maybe a, a good cup of green tea or shoulder rub would be nice for you mr cordova chris you're a Chump, you're bothering him and he owes you nothing. If you feel hurt, you can call the feeling police. <laughs> Burn! You know, if it was just people like Fowl all the time, I wouldn't need to come over here and record. But we got guys like Bruce Williams and this guy. Here's Garcia. So we, we got this many officers, because why? Because you're a maniac with a huge criminal history, Chris, you drug addict moron. And that's precisely what you wanted when you show up there. So shut the fuck up. Hey, Garcia. Hey, can you get this guy to give me his business card, please? You uh, can you get this guy right here to give me his business card, please? He won't identify. He said his name, but then I couldn't hear it, and then he's being rude. A bullshit. A bullshit. A bullshit. You never asked for his card, and he did identify. Thank you, Garcia. A badge, can you put the badge number on there too, please? Uh, 2404, sir. Cordova, you, uh, sorry, man, we were halfway through the conversation with the other dogs and eat. Yep, hold on, man. Oh, cool. I'll have to talk to you, but I want to get this guy over here, man. All right. You guys did a good job. Thank you, Garcia. Thank you, Fowl. But this guy right here, man, it's freaking needs to do better, man. Oh, he didn't do anything wrong, you shower cap. He asked you to move and you refuse and then you cry for 15 minutes. So anyway, Chrissy will do a peace sign as a cringe moronic water eater that he is. Then he will talk to himself on some classical music in the background. It, it's weird. All right, guys. Uh, not the hugest deal ever, but... You know, it's just these Sheridan guys, they just can't stand me, and, you know. I mean, Garcia, I don't think Garcia actually really likes me too much either, but, I mean, at least he's being cool. I went to high school with that guy, and Fowl's always been cool. Um, you know, he's complicit with, a, you know, he's an order follower, and he'll just do whatever they say, just like the rest of them, but um, that guy, you know, with his We the People tattoo and then trying to give me unlawful orders. I need to back up and officer safety and all that other trash. So that's it, guys. Thanks for coming in. Who are you talking to? No one! Your mama! Shut up! Trash? I mean, it was called to be there as a backup. It's his job. And yes, they must protect their partners when an unhinged criminal interferes with their job. I don't know why you call it trash, but it's just some basic protocol here. By the way, no one was scared of you or your little dog whatsoever. You clickbait moron. Your whole existence is a constant lie. And the only one who did a walk of shame in your video was you. Walking alone and talking to yourself like a delusional 
delusional lunatic in a psych ward. You're an idiot, Chris, and I hope the appeal court will maintain your sentence. Mm, finger cross. Are you gonna bang the uh, yeah, yeah. the the hammer? Yeah. Do we? Is there a? Here we go. Hey. <laughs> okay. All right, enough with this clown, my dear Christopher. Like they say in the Philippines. We're dying in a mall. Shout out to the members, you're the reason why there is star in the sky. Thanks for watching my video, please like, comment and subscribe. And let's expose those clowns one at a time. Bye.